Hey, what's up guys? It's Emily with another guitar lesson for you. By request from Six String Josh, tonight's lesson will be about slide in open G. As you can see, I've got my uh, resonator guitar with me tonight. Which is meant for playing slide. So what I think I want to do is walk you through the open G tuning and show you how to get started on the slide. And then, um, if there's interest, you know, maybe we'll do a series and do some more advanced stuff. So, this will be Slide and Open G 101. The first thing you want to do is tune your guitar to Open G. So, if you're in standard tuning, the strings go from the bottom to the top. We've got the E here, the big fat string. I like to call it the fat bottom E. The standard tuning would go E, A, D. G, B, E. So, let's get out your tuners. I've got a clip-on tuner here that I attach to the headstock, since I don't have a built-in tuner on this guitar. So, get whatever tuner you have, and let's tune the fat bottom E down to D. We'll tune your A string down to G. Now the fourth string, the third string, and the second string are all good. But the first string, which is also an E, will tune down to D. Our new tuning will be D, G, D, G, B, D. Now we're in open G. Now get out your slide. There are lots of different kinds of slides out there. For tonight's lesson, I've got my ceramic slide that fits on my ring finger. Uh, there are also brass slides. I've got one that fits on my pinky finger and it frees up these fingers to um, do a little more work on the fretboard. Uh, they each have a different feel, a different tone, and uh, allow me to do different things, so I like to play around with the two. Uh, if you are looking for a slide, I encourage you to play with lots of different ones and see what you like. Uh, you can also get a bottleneck slide. Those are the glass ones that are made out of a beer bottle neck. Um, or the really cool kids like to play with a lighter. So you can improvise with anything that you can use to push the strings down on the fretboard. And once again, here we are in open G. That means that any time that we strum with the fretboard completely open, meaning we're not pushing down on any of the strings on the fretboard, we're in the G chord. So one way to easily create another chord is to just cover up the entire fret with your slide right over the top of the fret. And one cool bluesy chord progression you might want to play around with would be the 1-4-5. So to get the 1 chord, clearly we've already got it open. That would be the G. Um, to get the 4 chord, we would play the 5th fret, and to get the 5 chord, we would play the 7th fret. So if you want to play around with just a bluesy progression in the 1, 4, 5, you can play open, 5th fret, and 7th fret. You could do open, 5th fret, open, 7th fret. You could do a 12 bar blues, which would be open to the 4, which is on the 5th fret, open to the 5, which is on the 7th fret back to open. So just play around with that a little bit. Oh wait, one more thing. Okay, here's one thing I like to do that's super bluesy and fun, is to slide from the second fret up to the third, kind of anywhere in that same bluesy progression. That gives it a little bit of a minor blues color. To go two, three, two, three, back to open.